Now this is something that I like to do. Uh, I mean, if when it's a really new bike or an old bike, either way, I like to do it. It's just a good check, and that is just to take our handy vernier caliper and uh, make sure it's zeroed and uh, calibrated, and come in here and and measure the spindle itself. Now, of course, these surfaces have been cleaned very thoroughly so that we can get an accurate measurement, and we want to see what kind of wear we're experiencing out here on this spindle over time, because you can see definitely that uh, where this has been, uh, what's called fretting right there, um, where that is, there, there, that is where the wear is occurring as this is operating. You see it's supposed to be 24 millimeters, and you can see it's not 24 millimeters everywhere. This one's not worn enough for me to even worry about it because the polymer shield will take this up, but if this was in a bottom bracket that used what's called a uh, well a bearing that's a 2437 or I think it's a 3724 either way the one is 24 millimeters in the ID that a lot of companies use uh, this could actually be a problem once it deviates from that 24 millimeter dead on and uh, to exacerbate that the steel races in that setup will actually wear this and cause this problem that's why we use polymer inserts in our uh, Shimano products